What's up, everybody? You want to talk about a crazy day? You would not believe the things that I've got to report to you. But, you know, it was just one of those things. There is absolutely no telling when you do what I do, what you might run into. It's, it, you just never know. That phone rings. It could be a stopped up toilet. It could be, you know, we need to clean out the garage, bring the dump trailer. You uh, could be fixing some floor. You could be rebuilding the framework underneath the house. You just never, ever know. That's for sure. So, today, it's been very eventful, but it's been productive, and it has been profitable. And we did make an extra $200 picking up a load of shingles and dropping them off for a roofing company with a dump trailer. And then we get the dump trailer fee on top of that. So, boom, there you have it. How you like me now? So, stay tuned. Watch everything that took place. And I want you to remember, it's like 9.30 right now when I'm doing this video. I, uh, I've been going since about, or I got up at 4.15 this morning, okay? Left the house at, I think, 6.30 and been going ever since, you know? Everybody wants to shine. Very few people want to actually get out and, and polish. But you got to polish. I'm here to tell you, folks, if you go into business for yourself and you think that you're going to only work 30, 40 hours a week and you're going to get ahead and do something big, nah. The universe will not reward you. You're going to have to pay some dues. You're going to have to get out there you're going to have to hustle. You're going to have to grind. You're going to have to put in some 10, 12, 14 hour days. And when you go to work in eight hours, you're going to say, this is what it's like to work part time. Ah, oh yeah, this is nice. 45 hours a week. Yeah, I like this. This is cool. You know, because you get used to 60 hour weeks because you know what it's like when you do an 80 hour week. You're going to have to put in the time and effort, folks, and pay some dues. And if you're not willing, I get it. It's not the most fun thing, I assure you of that. Most days, I've kind of been in a funk for the last two weeks. And that alarm goes off, and I'm like, no! I do not want to get up. However, we got to make it happen. And Tuesday, we get a new dump trailer, so we got to figure out a way to pay for that out of work so i sure appreciate you watching stay tuned subscribe hit that like ding ding that's redneck style ding ding so we greatly appreciate it it helps out tremendously you all have a wonderful day and have yourself a great weekend tomorrow i'll be leaving the house at about 5 45 i gotta stop and pick up a file 6 a.m I gotta be on location at about 6.30 to pick up a dump trailer. It's ready. I'm gonna be at the dump at 7 a.m. when they open up the doors. And then I gotta head north about 20 miles out of town to get a uh, contract signed on a, uh, for a roof. And we just gotta make this happen. That's all there is to it. These are the things that you have to do to be successful, you know? Um, I was talking with a lady earlier today. She said, you know, I got two closings. She's a realtor and said, all of these are referrals because of what I've done for the last 25 years. And I said, yeah, you treated it like a business, not a hobby. And she said, you're absolutely right. So, be prepared, be profitable, be productive. Have a great day. Good night. Look at that cool thing coming down the road, everybody. Ain't that neat? Damn. Okay, everybody, here's what I was talking about uh, when we are going to have to redo the bracing on the floor underneath. I'm going to show you exactly where we're going and kind of explain to you as best as possible what That's needs to be done. Front door right there, great assistant Carla, and this is our access panel. This is where we're going. We're going to have to get down in there. Scary, scary. Okay. All right, we got jumbo size. Overalls. We bought these from Omar the tent maker because he's the only one that makes them big enough to fit. Believe it or not, got these off the Facebook marketplace for less than 20 bucks. They were brand new. 
I was just tickled that it was such a good deal on these because normally you're paying $60, $70. So we're going to do all this to protect ourselves because we're going to have to slide around like a snake and everything like that. But we're going to be going down and uh, we'll make this happen. This right here is what I want you to see. That is how bad this floor is sinking. We'll show you why. You walk into this bedroom right here. It's kind of hard to see with the camera, but that floor is buckled almost two inches. Everything is basically sinking right underneath this closet right here. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go underneath, and then we're going to call out measurements to Carla, and she's going to write them down, and uh, then we're going to get the customer an estimate on doing this job, because it ain't going to be cheap. For this fat boy to go underneath this house and work, it's going to cost. I don't know if you can really see it, but straight through that crack, you can actually see the termite damage from the floor joist that's being eaten away. Oh my God, Becky, would you look at that? Yes, incorrect, but you know, the house is probably 50 years old. There ain't no telling how, uh, what the code was or anything like that but you can see why it is coming down on us and uh we are going to end up having to sister up to these floor joists both sides probably six of them and then we will jack it up on each side temporary we'll remove that pyrrolene right there and then we're going to go back with a 4 by 6 or possibly a 6 by 6 We'll remove that column right there. We'll put in some correct blocks. And uh, we'll get this thing shored up. You can see right there, it's already been scabbed one time. They, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, it's run its course. It wasn't done properly, and that's all there is to it. You can really tell all that termite eating up right there. Carla, will you go get us a screwdriver, please? Flathead or Phillips? Flathead, please. Carla's going to get us a screwdriver so that we can poke into the side of this wood just to make sure to see how, um, how much strength it has and uh, get an accurate reflection on how much we're going to have to be purchasing. I can probably get you out of there. Now, you see that wire right there? You know why it's so tight? because the house is sinking. And so any slack that was in that wire is no longer there. You all see that right there? That is a round stump. What that was, was originally what this house was built with. And as it started decaying, they came underneath here. And I bet you $20 this house was originally built with nothing around the rim joist. The rim joist is the outside edge of the house. It was probably up on pearlings. And what they did was they removed those and they went with concrete block and set it back down. And then they got rid of that because that's an old lighter stump right there. And then they put those cement blocks right there. So ain't no telling what all you're gonna find in this place. But that beam right there is about history. You can see that block down there at the end that's leaning over. All right, now we're going to see. Oh, did you all see that? That is not good at all. So that whole beam is about gone, gone, gone. Look at that. Yep. That is about history. That joist right there, mm -hmm. I think it's pretty much gone. Yeah. You start seeing back here, you see termite damage all the way that way to where the pyrrolene is. Then on the other side of it, we're gonna see 
yeah, that thing, extra slap ate up. Yep. That's my termite light right there. See if we can spot the termites. Just kidding. It doesn't work like that. You see some discoloration on the bottom of that flooring, the subfloor right there. That's not good as well. Let's check this. That's not good either. And then you notice all these holes right here. Whew. Carla's under here. She's tapping on stuff. She says that it's hollow. And you can see, yep, right there. Not good, everybody. Okay. We're trying to get out. We will have to let the homeowner know and see if they want to make a uh, decision on that. It's a decent little house. It's old, you know, but I mean, this has been putting money in somebody's pocket for 40, 50 years and they didn't do the termite treatment on it. So this is what ends up happening. I'll let you know if they take the bid or not. Hey, good morning, everybody. I have already been underneath the house doing an estimate. I have met up with an associate of mine to get a job lined out, been to Home Depot, now we're back at the job site. Question for you is, what are you doing today to get you closer to your goals? Do you even know what goals those are? Tell me specifically in, in the comments, tell me exactly what your goal is. How much money do you have to make every day? What's your monthly goal? What's your yearly goal? Get out of here if you ain't got that stuff done. You're not serious. You're a wisher. You're a dreamer. You're not a doer. You're not an action person. Come on. I'm trying to work with you. I'm not against you. Let's get it real. Put it down on paper. Make it happen. This is Robert with the Hustle Nation. If you want to hear more, go to my YouTube channel, Hustle Nation. Look it up. Be about it. Do it. Hey, good morning, everybody. I have already been underneath the house doing an estimate. I have met up with an associate of mine to get a job lined out, been to Home Depot, now we're back at the job site. Question for you is, what are you doing today to get you closer to your goals? Do you even know what goals those are? Tell me specifically in, in the comments, tell me exactly what your goal is. How much money do you have to make every day? What's your monthly goal? What's your yearly goal? Get out of here if you ain't got that stuff done. You're not serious. You're a wisher. You're a dreamer. You're not a doer. You're not an action person. Come on. I'm trying to work with you. I'm not against you. Let's get it real. Put it down on paper. Make it happen. This is Robert with the Hustle Nation. If you want to hear more, go to my YouTube channel, Hustle Nation. Look it up. Be about it. Do it. I don't know what it was, but it uh, sounded like a motorcycle. Right, for we're sure. going to pick this one up. We got to go in the middle of all of these places. Get on in the back. Get access in between them all. Find out where that's at. We're going to make this happen. My trailer's up in there. We are still hustling. Six o'clock. Got to go take a trailer, get it dumped. Then we go by Home Depot, pick up about 30 squares of shingles, drop it off on location. Probably looking at about 8 30 or 9 o'clock getting home. But hey, there's money to be made and you're sleeping. Life's passing you by. This is what it's all about right here. This is what will build a business is when you give it your all. Those that are part-timers or when the phone rings and you don't hear from them, can't call them or anything like that, nah, 
I don't Got know. Got the last load dump at the transfer place. Now, headed to Home Depot, pick up two pallets full of singles, put them in a dump trailer, make a little extra cheese, put it on location, pick up a dump trailer first thing in the morning, be at the dump when it opens at 7, go get a roofing contract signed. We'll do all this by noon. So here we are at Home Depot. We're getting our order done up right here. And unfortunately, they loaded our shingles and another truck, and so they're going to have to unload them and then put them in. What we call the Friday Night Hustle for the Entrepreneur. Everybody wants to be their own boss. This is what it's all about right now. 8, 9, 10, 12 o'clock at night, Friday nights. It's exciting. Hey, party animal right here at the Home Depot, getting shingles, making money. Go out, check, make sure that they're loading all my shingles and everything like that. Otherwise, I think uh, some people might have a de attention deficit disorder to where um, they might find some other distractions other than loading my shingles. I'm not saying anything, just a suspicion. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go check on that. Here we are, we're getting loaded up. It's late night. We're making it happen. That's what it's all about, folks. You want a business to survive, you want a business to grow, you're gonna have to work it like this in the beginning. Ain't no doubt about it. And this is why most people don't go into business for themselves. They'd much rather be at home, they'd much rather be on a date, doing something, doing their hair, you know, fishing with the guys or something like this. But you got to do it like this to start with, to build that clientele, make all your money, give the service. We're about to be rolling. All right. We are loaded. We are rolling. We're going to drop this on location, and then we're going somewhere to get a bite to eat. And I'm thinking a big old steak. That's really hard for you all to see, but you see how much light is done by this trailer lights on the back. This is awesome. Watch this when I hit it in reverse. Boom. Do you see what I'm talking about? That is so cool. 